Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. In today's video, we will be going through everything you need to know about WriteMapper. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go digital with your work, studies, or business. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human welcome back do turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video Write Mapper 2 is a mind mapping writing app that is available for your iphone ipad mac and windows it is the perfect app for a distraction free writing experience for structured content right mapper costs $9.99 for the iphone version $19.99 for the ipad version $39.95 for the desktop version which could either be mac os or for windows the app has a seven day full featured trial on all platforms you can try it for free before purchasing it to appreciate what you're paying for this review focuses on the ipad version of the app WriteMapper has the simplest homepage we have seen in any note-taking app. When you open the application, you have to choose between opening an existing WriteMap file or creating one from scratch. You can import projects from the Files app and these could be any of the following formats. Markdown, HTML, Microsoft Word or the WriteMap format which is the native format for the application. The app automatically converts them into a mind map when you import them into the application. Creating a new document in WriteMapper is a one-step process. Simply tap create to get started. The app then creates your first parent node, which is also the title for your document. The mind mapping approach to writing offered by WriteMapper allows you to easily brainstorm ideas for your paper. You can create a visual outline for your writing. It gives you an overall idea of what you're writing about. You can create as many subtitles and headings as you need for your document. The plus icon on the bottom toolbar lets you add a child node for the selected node and you can rename it. Without a keyboard for your iPad, creating child nodes is a bit of a pain because you have to keep tapping the parent node and using the plus icon to add a child node. We're not sure why our developers couldn't allow us to just use the enter key on our keyboard to do this. It would really make our lives much easier because this going back and forth is a bit of work if you have a lot of child nodes to add. Once you've created your child node, you can double tap it or use this editing icon to create content in that node. And the application will take you to a different window where you can focus on your writing. And this allows you to focus on creating content under this subheading without the distracting mind map. In this window, in this editing window, you can also edit your title in case you've not done it from the mind map. Write Mapper is a minimalist app with all your writing tools at the bottom of your page. You can make your text bold, italic, or underline. For those that prefer handwriting their work or their papers, Scribble can be quite useful because it lets you handwrite your work and it converts them in real time for you. The app periodically saves your content as you write it. For a writing application, WriteMapper is missing some fundamental features for text editing. These include font options. You only have one font in the application. For a minimalist app, some users might appreciate the consistency this limitation offers. We are starting to see more applications on the market that have this minimalist approach where they give you very few font options to work with. And it's making us start questioning if we've ever needed that many fonts to begin with. What do you think? We'd love to know. Do you think we really need that many font options or is that just something that we got used to from Microsoft Word and it sort of just became tradition but is not actually necessary? In WriteMapper, you also can't highlight your text. You don't have text alignment options. And your text can only have one color. A bit limiting considering the fact that you can't highlight your text. So basically, in WriteMapper, you can't really make any information stand out, which can be a bit limiting for a writing application. You can add the following items to your content. Lists, numbered and unnumbered. Web links. Codes. inline code, block code, 
and images. Write mapper has one bullet point type for your unnumbered lists. Not very useful for creating hierarchies in your lists because different bullet point type add a dimension to your list that makes the list you create much easier to understand. Your numbered lists have three types of numbering options, which is great considering our unnumbered lists don't have any options at all. When adding web links to your notes, make sure they are fully written. That is, they must contain either HTTP or HTTPS. Otherwise, an error occurs when you try to save your URL. Once you've saved your web link, you can long press on it to interact with it or just tap on it and the application will give you options to remove or edit this URL. And you can also tap it to open it in your Safari. You can drag and drop images into your notes. After that, there's not much you can do with them. You can only add text beneath and above your image and the application has no options to resize or rearrange your images. More options to crop and rotate our images would be greatly appreciated and expected because any application that allows you to add images should allow you to do much more than just add images. You can long press a node for some editing options for the title, which is the main node in your mind map. You can do the following. Edit title to rename your title or the title of your document. Quick edit node to quickly add some information to the node without exiting the mind map area in case you want to see your mind map and still add information to the node. Absorb children to extract the titles and content from the child nodes. The application doesn't remove the child nodes from the app though. Categorize node colors to change the colors of your child nodes. Set color tags for this node only or including child nodes to pick a color you want for the node. Your mind map can have multiple colors for each line of thought or one color for everything. Toggle task status lets you mark a node as done. With so many nodes in your work, it can be difficult to keep track of what you've completed. The mind map lets you work on your paper from any direction you like in any order you want. And this really makes your life easier because you get to work on what you want when you feel like it. But that can also mean you easily lose track of your progress. And this task status feature keeps you organized. Tick off a note that you've completed and the ones that are not completed, don't tick them off. Collapse all nodes, hides all the other nodes in your mind map, leaving just the one connected to your title. Expand all nodes shows all the nodes in your mind map. Child nodes also have a pop-up menu that is slightly different from the one you get from the title. Add sibling node adds a new node on the same hierarchy level right below the selected one. Duplicate node copies everything about the node. Collapse or expand hides or shows the child nodes for that node. Collapse other nodes hides the child nodes of all the other nodes, leaving only its own child nodes showing. It helps when you're feeling a bit overwhelmed with the big mind map and you just want some of the information not showing. New write map from node creates a new document from the selected node. In case you decide the section is too big and you want it extracted into a new document, you can save your documents as markdown, HTML, or PML, word, plain text, rich text format, and image. You can also copy the document as markdown, HTML, and plain text, or preview the full document. Previewing the document gives you an idea of how your document looks in Microsoft Word. You can decide what you want to export in your settings. You can choose to include or exclude certain color tags, export done or undone tasks only, export nodes with content only or those with no content, Show or hide headers. Add heading numbering. The application has a variety to choose from. None, decimal, sequential, alphanumeric, and decimal H2s only. Export header as default or paragraphs. Show or hide or contents. And the application ensures that you export what you want when you want you can navigate between your document preview and the mind map. The app gives you details about the document, that is word count, characters, read time, and total nodes. 
If you want to see how a node fits into your outline, show selected node. It takes you back to the mind map and highlights the node that you want to see. You can also open selected node for editing, hide node contents, show all node contents, hide all node contents. You can show the hierarchy in your notes by choosing the indented structure of your notes, or you can choose the flat structure to remove that organization. You can increase the font size of your notes or decrease it. You can choose where you save your work. WriteMapper doesn't store any of your work in their application, and this is very comforting. If you do want to save your files locally, you can. In the case of your iPad, you can save your documents to the Files app or even to other applications. If you want to access them on different devices, then you will save them to a cloud service, whatever you choose. But you have full control of where you store your information. Save WriteMap as lets you rename your document before saving it. You can change the layout of your mind map. The app only has two types of layouts, not a wide variety, but that doesn't matter. This mind mapping app is more about connecting your ideas and destruction free writing than it is about presentation. You can toggle node info to switch the information that shows when you tap a node. The information can either be the hierarchy level of that node or the number of words in that node. You can search your mind map. The search tool is very responsive. Your results display below the quick search text field. However, when you tap your results, the app only highlights the node your results are in. This is great if you're looking for a node, not so much when you want the contents of that node. Let's hope the developers will give us the ability to open our search results and display the search term in highlights because at the moment we can't do that in the application. The search tool in WriteMapper says certainly need some attention. You can customize general preferences, export options, and keyboard shortcuts if you have an external keyboard. Under general preferences, you can choose default node color from the few available options, default map outline, default node information, default editor font, editor width, and you can enable autosave periodically. Random new node color. When disabled, your mind map has one color. And you can also enable automatically begin editing. The application supports split view, which means you can split view the screen with other applications, but unfortunately, it does not support multiple instances. You can't open the application twice, and that's quite a limitation. The application does have dark mode, which is cool. If you have a magic keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard for your iPad, you will have fun customizing and using these keyboard shortcuts. And WriteMapper has a lot of keyboard shortcuts for your iPad. This brings us to the end of this video. Let us know what writing apps you are using and which one you'll be interested in us reviewing next in the comment section down below. If you want to keep track of your long documents while writing yet write destruction free make sure you give write mapper a try we hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it thank you fantastically awesome human being for watching see you in the next video